Welcome back, fishing friends, adventurers, and investors. Hey, happy new year. I want everyone to have a fantastic 2022. Hey, a couple of things. You know on this channel I like to do fishing videos. Sometimes I'll do hiking, outdoor stuff, or maybe points of interest. So what I'm going to do for 2022 is I'm going to add something a little bit different. And that's going to be from uh, an investor's perspective. So every once in a while, I'm going to pop up a little video just to kind of show you guys how things are going with some stocks that I've kind of invested in or keep an eye on. Now, by no means am I a professional at any of this. As you guys know, nothing here is scientific. It's all casual observations. But as a school teacher, I do have some investments to get ready for my retirement. I have some Roth, some IRAs and things like that. But I also have some other stocks that I just kind of tinker with and kind of see how they're doing and keep an eye on them. And I don't want to call them hobby stocks, but they're ones that I kind of look at consistently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at one stock today that has done fantastic for me, and it has to do with the outdoors. And I'm going to go through that with you. And I got into this a couple years ago. What was it 2019 maybe or heading into 2020? I'll check here in a minute. And I got in there when it was fairly low, and now it has really grown. All right, so let's take a look at that, and we shall see what we have. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this stock. So I use either Yahoo Finance, E-Trade, or MarketWatch. So I just have MarketWatch here, but I go ahead and type in its little, I call it a call sign, but it's tag VSTO. Visto or Vista Outdoor Incorporated. And I picked this one because it has to do with the outdoors. And I'm a big outdoors kind of guy. And I love this stock and when I got in on it. So I'm going to give you the overview. It's located in Anoka, Minnesota. And it engages in the design, manufacture, and marketing of consumer products in the outdoor sports and recreation markets. It operates through the following segments. Shooting sports and outdoor products. The shooting sports... Product lines include centerfire ammunition, rimfire ammunition, shot shell ammunition, reloading components, and firearms. That's important because we know in terms of ammunition, their prices have gone way up. There's been a shortage. Well, these guys have been filling the needs of a lot of uh, sportsmen. They've been picking up a lot of orders and producing uh, ammunition for some of the, the firearms companies to fill those voids. Now they also have the outdoor products, the product lines include action sports, archery, hunting, accessories, camping, global eyewear, sports protection products. The company was founded in 2014 and it's located in Minnesota. So for 2021, its revenue was 26.75%. And here you can see all kinds of other information uh, in terms of the stock. And it's been doing really well and uh, it's, it's one that I'm so happy I got in on it. I got in on it at a good price, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Now, not counting my IRAs and Roths, my big retirement ones, those will, be, will have investments in like Apple, Amazon, things like uh, Boeing or chip making, all kinds of things. I never monkey around with those. I just let those grow. They're long term for when I retire. But I do have on a little E-Trade account on a little phone app, about 20 of them, 20 stocks that I tinker with so I can learn and see how things are going. I don't want to call them hobby stocks, but really that's what they are. So some of them do really well, and I hang on to them. I want all these to be long-term. But there have been some that I've had that were recommended and whether it be from friends, family, or from like Kramer from his Mad Money Watch. He's kind of a funny guy on CNBC. He has some great tips on things, but there's been a couple stocks that have done really well, and they just fizzled out, whether it's supply chain issues or whatever the thing, whatever the reason. And so those, I had to get out of them quick, and then I put the money into other stocks like this one. Now, I don't have a ton of stocks in this. I don't have one, 200, 300. I've started out with like 15 and then I picked up five more. 
So all of these stocks that I tinker with, I don't dive in with like several buying several hundred shares. I always try to start off with, you know, anywhere between 10, 15. Some I only have five in because I'm just kind of dipping my toes in the water. But it is so much fun to watch how these grow. Okay, now I'm going to go to right here. You have all these different options and tabs. So I've already got this one selected. This is going to be like the two year outlook, the chart. Okay, let me find this where I got in on this. It was right here, right at the end of the last day of January in was it 20. The first part of 2021. This is when I got into it. I'm pretty sure it was right there. The start of 2021. Yep. That's it. Right at that $30 mark. And so I tinkered with it. And tinkering mean I kind of watched it. It's progress. And then it shot up. I was like, oh, man, this stock's going to do great. Well, then it came back down. And it fell, sh you know, lower than what I invested in. I was like, oh, no, this one. Let me keep an eye on it because I may need to, you know, unload it. But I didn't. I stuck with it. Then it crept up. And as we could start getting towards, you know, May, it was really climbing. And I was like, oh, man, this thing is really doing well. Then it really got up to, to 45 bucks, And I was like, oh, man, this is in the middle of the summer. So sometimes when I'm out fishing and, you know, sometimes you have some downtime, I'll pull up my phone and check these tinkering stocks that I've got. And it, you know, kind of passes the time. Well, then it started to nosedive a little. I was like, oh, no. And then we had those corrections back in the summer. Then it went up. Then it went down. Well, then in May, or excuse me, in November, this past November, we had that big market correction. People worried about what the Fed was going to do, all this and that. And so then it dipped. But now it's back up to right before New Year's. What does this one say? The 26th is up to 46. And that's where it's been sitting, 4607. So this one's done well for me. And I really like it because it's an outdoor stock. And I have some other ones I'll show you. I'm not going to make a ton of these videos, but I do have family and friends, you know, that like to watch and anything I put out there. But I know some of them are kind of interested in, you know, investing in stocks. And then I have other ones that like when I do those points of interest video, I have more videos. I have more of those that are coming up. And then, of course, the fishing ones, which, you know, are my favorite ones by far. But anyway, so this channel is kind of um, a mix of different things. Hopefully that's okay with you. If you don't like watching any of this investment stuff, just by all means, you know, wait until a fishing one comes out or, you know, points of interest. But I just wanted to pop this in here to kind of show you guys you know how things are going and I'll put some up there and then I may even put one up there that I'll show you that I've it's kind of nose dived and I'm like really worried about it but for the long term it should start picking back up and I've had so much fun with this now I do have friends and family and people ask me questions about Bitcoin or what I call butt coin if I invest in any of the cryptocurrencies no I don't touch any of those because there's nothing that backs them it's just all of a sudden they appeared. Well, they say that they do mine and, and all these different things to to provide a little bit of stability for it. But I just, I don't, I don't mess with any of those, you know, the crypto stuff. Now, I do have friends that invest in it. When it gets up to certain thresholds and they sell chunks of it and then invest it in other things. Yeah, I don't really do anything like that. I just pick the ones that on my own I've looked up and really like or that have been recommended or that I've seen kind of Kramer talk about. And this is one of the ones that he talked about on his show and that due to the ammunition shortage, these guys were doing really well and follow, you know, filling that void and putting out orders. So I was like, oh man, I gotta get in on this one and I'm happy I did. So it's good stuff. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this little video. And uh, you know, I'll be putting some more up here and there. 
All right. Until next time, guys. I'll see you then. But hey, make sure you have a wonderful and happy new year. I hope you have the best of luck with all your fishing adventures or investing adventures or your traveling. Any adventures you're out there doing. I hope you have just a fantastic 2022. All right. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.